Hello, my name is Bastian and I want to introduce you to Quadrant Hybrid Cloud. Quadrant Hybrid Cloud is an exciting new feature that lets you combine the benefits of a completely managed cloud product to run Quadrant databases in a highly available fault tolerant way with the benefits of data locality, data sovereignty and running actually the databases on the infrastructure of your choice. To showcase this to you, I prepared a small cluster in my private DigitalOcean account. And you can see here that it's a basic Kubernetes cluster. I created it like seven minutes ago. It is not tied to any quadrant infrastructure. If we look at the cluster itself, you can also see it has a single node for demo purposes and all the standard components are installed in there. If I want to now hook up this Kubernetes cluster on my private DigitalOcean account to the Quadrant Hybrid Cloud, I can go into the Quadrant Cloud Management Console and to the Hybrid Cloud section. There, I need to pick a name, for example, DigitalOcean, for my first Hybrid Cloud environment. You can create as many Hybrid Cloud environments as you want. Every Hybrid Cloud environment um, is basically one Kubernetes cluster running somewhere, and it doesn't matter where it's running, it can be running on any cloud provider, it can run on-premise, it can even run on your laptop. Next, you have to choose the namespace where Quadrant should, and Quadrant Hybrid Cloud should deploy all the Quadrant components and databases in. For this, I choose Quadrant, but you can also choose any namespace you want. Optionally, you can configure the Kubernetes storage classes and volume snapshot classes if you don't want to take the defaults so that we can provision block storage for the, for the quadrant database volumes and also create backups of them. In the next step, I get a one-time single-use installation command that I have to copy. Um, this installation command creates the necessary secrets and installs the Quadrant Kubernetes operator and Cloud Agent to connect back to Quadrant Cloud inside of my Kubernetes cluster. So this is just one thing I initially have to do. And then the whole lifecycle of this agent and all the Quadrant components and databases can be controlled from the Quadrant Cloud console. While um, the container images are downloaded and are starting up, Let's maybe have a quick look at our documentation. On our, in our docs, you can find all about hybrid cloud. You can find all about the prerequisites we have, what we need from a Kubernetes cluster in your environment, basically a Kubernetes cluster with persistent storage, the connectivity that is necessary there. And we also have dedicated tutorials for all the major cloud providers that cover what you need to set up um, that link you to the managed Kubernetes offering documentation sites on the cloud provider site and also cover if you need to activate any add-ons or provide any additional configuration, for example, to consume storage or to be able to back it up. Um, going back to my cluster, we can see now that we are nearly there. So we have a couple components up and running. There is the Quadrant Operator that manages all the Quadrant databases that I'll create in my Kubernetes cluster later on. We have the Quadrant Cloud Agent, which connects your environment with an outgoing connection to our cloud. Important there is we don't need any access to your Kubernetes API, and also we don't need any access to um, the APIs of your cloud provider or virtualization platform also. So it's just one outgoing connection to transport telemetry, and also your databases stay completely isolated using your network, your storage, your compute, and neither we nor anyone else outside of your organization is physically able to access this. There's also a small Prometheus monitoring component, which just runs in agent mode to transport us in necessary telemetry so that we can also proactively help you. Now, uh, all these components are up and running and I can go back to my um, Quadrant Cloud interface. Uh, I see that everything is up and running also from here and I can start creating databases. So, and this is the same as with managed cloud. You can choose now your hybrid cloud environment here and you can have, have as many environments as you want. I choose my DigitalOcean one. You can give your um, cluster a name. 
You can choose how much CPU and memory you want to have in the cluster. You can choose the amount of nodes that you want to have inside of the cluster. You can choose the disk space. And of course, you at any point in time later on can also scale this up. I only have a small demo cluster, so that let's keep it as a minimum. What you also see now here in the cluster list that um, it's not either or with managed cloud and hybrid cloud. Managed cloud, where the database is run on our infrastructure and the clusters in there, and hybrid cloud can live side by side. For example, here I have one cluster on AWS, one on Azure. These are running in the quadrant managed cloud regions, and you just get a URL there. But I also have one cluster running on my private DigitalOcean account, and you can mix and match however you want this. The database, by the way, is now starting up, and we can go back to our terminal in here, and you see there is a quadrant pod that is in here and up and running. And it also now became healthy inside of the Quadrant Cloud console. And now we have the same features to look at the metrics of the database, um, to create backups, to restore from them, as you would imagine inside of the managed cloud. You can also easily upgrade the database. If there is a new version there, you can restart it and you can scale it up at any point in time. Thanks for listening. And I hope I got you interested in hybrid cloud. If you want to know more, visit our documentation, visit our landing pages and get started today. Thank you very much.